What's leverage and what are the risks associated with it? Okay, so leverage, most people have come across leverage when they have a mortgage. So they've got 10% deposit, the bank gives them a 90% mortgage, they now own a house, but of course they've got a, a loan against it, and that's basically leverage. So in the stock market, whether it be commodities or shares, the broker will allow you so much leverage on the amount of cash you have. So let's say you have a thousand pounds in the account and they're um, giving you 10 to one, basically means for every one part of money you've got, they'll give you another nine parts. Um, and that's how basically leverage works. And the advantage obviously allows you to carry a bigger position with a small amount of cash, just to deposit down. Uh, the disadvantage, of course, what you'll be careful, if it goes against you, then that little bit of money that you've put up can easily be lost. In terms of leverage, using online spread betting or CFDs, are, are they more risky than perhaps using them a tr more traditional way with a broker? Yeah, they are more risky. And what's interesting now, for instance, IG Index ha is also a stock broker as well. So IG offers ISAs and you can actually buy stock from them as well in the normal way, or you can trade uh, spread betting. Har Hargreaves Lounsdown is another. Um, Barclays stockbrokers offer spread betting and traditional buying. So it's morphed into one now, Alex. More and more brokers don't offer one or the other, they offer all of them. So the difference, if I buy one share in Imperial Tobacco, and currently say 36 pounds, I own that share. I get the dividend, I can pass it to you, pass it to my kids, whatever. No one can take that stock away from me. If I place a spread bet on Imperial Tobacco, it's normally a leveraged um, spread bet, and it will only last for so long, and I don't actually own the stock. So that's the easiest way to put it. If you want to think about it, it's like owning a house with no mortgage or a house with a mortgage. So the leverage has got some benefit, but of course, owning the stock outright um, is the safer bet. Now, what many people do, and what I advise to do, is to do both. Have some money, which is leverage, which is spread bet, and have some stock, which you own outright.